Welcome to the putting clinic. My name is Mark Ellis and I play for Team Discraft. Today we have brought forth 10 volunteers who want to become much better putters and I'm going to make them much better putters. The same program they're going to try will also work for you. This video production is a joint cooperative venture between Discraft, makers of the world's finest flying discs and Flying Disc Magazine. When I was seeking volunteers, what did I want? Highly motivated putters. People that want to get much, much better. Are they motivated? Will they get better? You will find out. This putting program is designed to work for any player at any skill level. It'll work for a beginner. It'll work for a seasoned pro. It'll work for you. If you stick with the program, you believe in the program, I guarantee that it will work. This program will not only improve your putting, it will also maintain your putting at a high level, which is the harder part. Okay, volunteers, let me ask you a question. What's the single most important attribute of a good putter? It's nice to have a great wrist. It's great to have tremendous balance. Skill is a wonderful thing. Far and away, the most single important attribute is confidence. Who do you bet on? The person with great talent and no confidence? Or the person with average talent and excellent confidence? You know where you put your money at. Because putting is not difficult. All of you can make a short, easy putt. What is difficult is to consistently make putts, especially under pressure. This program is designed to build confidence. Far and away, what you need more than anything else. So, volunteers, what do I ask of you? I ask you commit to this program. Don't fight it. Don't question it. Give me a blank slate. Try it. Why? Because I guarantee it will work. So, is the solution to making you a better putter practice? Yes, in part. The solution is to create a practice form that actually develops confidence and maintains it. Now, you've all been to tournaments, or at least most of you have, and what do you see at tournaments? What do you see when people practice? They're out 35, 40 feet away, throwing putts to the basket, hoping to hit a little bit of metal. That's how most people practice. And what does that do? It convinces you you're not going to make putts. Why? Your own experience tells you, well, maybe I'll make it, maybe I won't. That doesn't build confidence. What builds confidence is you making putts consistently, time after time after time. Because self-talk, positive thoughts are all very nice, but positive thoughts will not overcome you putting badly. I'm confident, I'm confident, I'll make this putt. Yeah, you shank the first putt, that confidence is gone. Okay? So what you have is a fake confidence. That doesn't help you at all. So what are we doing in this program, and what do I ask of you? I ask you to give me a half hour a day for the next month. A half hour a day of concentrated putting where you're making putts. Now, I don't care how close to the basket you have to get to make putts. I don't care if it's five feet. Make putts. Don't go to some spot that you're going to miss putts. That teaches you to miss. You're already good at that skill. You don't need practice at that. I want you to get as close as is necessary to consistently smash center chain. And do it time after time after time. So that when you say to yourself, I'm going to make that putt, you know you're telling the truth. Because you have proven it to yourself. Now many of you folks are established putters. You've been playing the game for years. What that means is you have an established background of proving to yourself you won't make putts. We need to counteract that. There's a lot of stuff out there saying, I'm probably going to miss. Oh no, I'm afraid I'm going to miss. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that with a true confidence. Yes, I can make this putt. I make it all the time. I practice this putt all the time. Now, if you think about what it takes to become a good putter and an effective tournament player, you don't need to make all your 100 footers. Nobody does. Nobody consistently makes long, tough putts. Now, on our best day, we make everything. But that isn't the question. 
because the question is, how good do you putt when it's not your best day? That's what we need to fix. And we know there is no solution to missing easy putts. If you're missing short putts, I'm sorry. It's a bad day. I don't care how well you're throwing because no one gets drop-in drives or drop-in up shots every time. You have to make short putts. And although you think to yourself, well, I've got to make long putts too. Folks, you can win open division tournaments just making short putts. And you will lose AM3 tournaments missing short putts. So what's the solution? We build your confidence from short to long. You consistently make putts. If you find yourself missing putts, move in. Okay. Now, why 15-minute segments? Because concentration is key. If you're out putting, it's like, oh, whatever, you know, whatever. You learn nothing by putting without concentration. Because when you're in a tournament, when you're in a round that counts, you will concentrate. On a big putt, you don't go, ah, whatever, I'll just throw it. You don't do that. I know, I've seen you. You set up, oh, you know, you take your time, you, you concentrate, because the putt matters. Therefore, in practice, the putt matters. Set up the same way you'd set up for a big putt. Concentrate the same way you would concentrate for a really important putt. It's one of the principles a lot of the great putters use. Every putt is the same. It doesn't matter if it's a practice putt. It doesn't matter if it's the biggest putt in the biggest tournament of your life. Every putt is the same. Because of that, you will concentrate more in practice. You'll putt slower, probably, and you'll also putt better when it matters. Now, if 15 minutes is good, why not an hour? Why not two hours? Why not six hours? Because you can't concentrate that long. It's just not possible. So, eventually you may develop the ability to extend concentration. Okay, that's down the road. Don't worry about that now. Okay? At the moment, 15-minute segments. Back when I was much younger, playing in amateur divisions, I was going to amateur worlds. So the week before Am Worlds, I decided, you know, you know I drive pretty good, I upshoot pretty good, but you know, my putting's not very good. So I'll practice putting. And I went out and I practiced putting for four hours the first day. The next day, my lower back was sore. Every muscle I used to putt with was sore. Yeah, putt for four hours, I guarantee you're going to be sore because you're not used to doing that. Don't do that. It doesn't work. And it didn't work for me. And what did that prove? Well, I thought it proved that putting practice doesn't work. No, what it proved is the wrong putting practice doesn't work. That's what it proved. Okay. But putting practice that builds confidence does work, and it will work, in fact, for you. Now, why did we give you a new set of putters? Merely for product placement? No, not merely for that. Because the putters you've been using so far have proven to you they are not adequately reliable. They have a history, just like you have a history. They didn't work, or you wouldn't be here. These new putters will work. You will train them to work. When you put them in your hands, you will have confidence they will work. Why? Because they have proven that they do, in fact, work. You look at that putter, you feel that putter. It's going to the basket. Okay. Now, let's talk about a putt that is a good putt that doesn't go in the basket. Doesn't matter. For our purposes, we don't care. Your job is to hit solid metal. If you hit solid metal and the basket kicks it out, whatever, you've done your job. You have no control what happens to the disc once it hits chains. If it goes in, it's supposed to, good job. If it bounces out, so what? Okay? Do your job. A solid putt to the center of the chains that gets rejected, that's a good putt. You did your job. Okay? We'll take the odds of that. Both of those are going to go in. Okay? Don't worry if the basket doesn't treat you well. So, what's the format? Every day, 15-minute segment. Then take a break. Relax, think about other things, fool around, practice wild, crazy stuff. Do whatever you want. I don't care what you do. Regain your concentration so when you go back and do another 15-minute segment, you're ready. Okay? 
What I want you to do is to create a routine. Probably you have one. Okay? Whatever your routine is. Set up, pump a certain number of times, do whatever you do, but keep that routine. You'll do that routine in practice, you'll do that routine in rounds, you'll do that routine in tournaments. A lot of people use an affirmation. An affirmation is where you say mentally yourself, I can hit this putt. Okay? Good thing to do. Why? Because it's a positive. Just before you putt, you give the positive. What the positive does is it keeps the negative out. The negative, oh my God, I'm going to miss this, I'm a fool, you know? It keeps that out. You can't think two things simultaneously. So that's why a lot of people use an affirmation. I can hit this putt. Set up, hit that putt. I also visualize. That is just before I release, in my mind's eye, I plan the route of the disc. I see it in my head before I do it. Okay? Why two putters? Why not one? Well, see, if, if, if you have a stack of ten putters, it doesn't matter. You've got a stack. Whatever I missed, I missed. Who cares? I got plenty more. This way, if you miss one, it, you're in the exact same spot, the exact same setup. You can adjust. You can do what it takes to make that adjustment. Okay? Uh, a lot of you know, good putters use two. Some use one, whatever. It's a close call. Okay? We gave you two because we like you. Now, the last part of your daily obligation is once you're done, you get to reward yourself. How do you reward yourself? We have set up a website. Log on your computer, go to that website, and type in your reward. I did my putting today. I don't care what words you use. Tell me that you did your putting. Give me the date. That's a reward. You have done your job. Congratulations. We asked our volunteers which kind of putters they wanted. Anything in the disc craft factory. And believe me, they make lots of different types of putters because there are lots of different preferences in putters. And what did our volunteers pick? Uh, some of them picked the Banger GT. Banger is the most overstable putter the disc craft makes, and it has a very interesting groove on the top. GT, groove top. And some people just love the fact your thumb just fits in that groove. Very overstable, great in the wind. Some of our volunteers pick the Challenger. Challenger is an overstable putter made by Discraft. A lot of the Discraft pros use these. They're a very popular putter. Uh, and a lot of players that don't putt with them keep them in their bag because they're really an excellent driver. Some of our players pick the Discraft Magnet. Uh, I pick the Magnet. I've always putted with the Magnet. Love the Magnet. Fits great in my hand. The soft magnet is what I use in the winter. And the soft magnet is the single best-selling disc made in the entire Discraft line. They sell more of this than any other disc. Uh, in winter, I love the soft one because it's cold outside. It gets a little stiffer. In summer, I putt with hard magnets because the heat of summer makes the plastic a little softer. Now, prior to today, your putting was your problem. As of for the next month, your putting is not your problem. Your putting is my problem. I have the program that will work. Follow the program. Now, you'll have noticed that so far in this clinic, I haven't taught you how to throw a putt. Well, for the most part, you know how to throw a putt. These are short little shots. And no single putting style is far more effective than any other. It's just a putting style. You will see wild and crazy putting styles out there, and if you practice it enough, it'll work. Okay, it doesn't matter what you do. Do what you're comfortable with. But in case any of you folks want some discussion or some advice in terms of mechanics or putting strategy, we have brought forth today a handful of our Discraft professional players, and they're here, they're available, you know, for you folks to talk to, you know, how do you hold your disc, how do you throw it, whatever. Hi, I'm Liz Carr. Hey, I'm Kevin Thomasitis. Hi, I'm Carter Bell. Hey, I'm Steve Mills. As you go through the days and the weeks of this putting program, do not self-evaluate how it's going. Don't say, am I better now? Am I good yet? It will work, I guarantee it. How do I know that to be true? Because it worked for me. I, at one time, I believe, was the worst putter to ever play this game. And I was consistently terrible for years. I was the worst putter ever to play AM3. 
And when I moved up, I was the worst putter in AM2. And when I moved up, I was the worst putter in AM1. And when I went pro, I was the worst putter in pro. In the past couple of years, my putting has become much, much better because I figured it out. And this is the program that I've used personally. If it works for me, my goodness, it'll work for you. The odds are you are nowhere near as bad as I was. So, after a couple days, do you say, well, am I good yet? No, don't worry about it. After a couple days, say, I've done my job. I'm in the process of getting better. Be secure in the process. Now, to become a good putter is not a short-term process. And to build confidence is not a short-term fix. Short-term confidence is fool's gold. It does you no good because it gets broken the first time you have a bad round. One bad round of putting, oh my god, I'm terrible. I'm a terrible putter, I'll never be any good again. All of you have had bad rounds where you say, oh, oh, I'm just terrible. I pray I don't have any long putts. Man, I, next round, I hope everything's five feet. Right? It's happened to all of us. And all of us have bad days. So, if you think about a person that decided to go on a diet. Say you have some fat guy. I don't know where I got this example from, but say you did. If the fat guy doesn't eat for two hours, does he run on the scale and see if it worked? No. No, it doesn't work. Right? And there's no reason to feel bad about it after two hours. And there's no reason to feel bad about it after a couple sessions. Don't worry about it, because I guarantee this program will work. And the fat guy, eat less, exercise more. I guarantee it'll work. Right? We know that will work. This program, just like that, will work. So, we're coming back in a month. The odds are, sometime in that month, you'll not only putt, you'll play rounds or you'll play tournament rounds. I don't care if you are rounds, you putt really well or really poorly. Any given day, anybody putts well or putts poorly. The question is, are you building a base of confidence so eventually you'll become good? The answer is yes, you are. So, don't be elated if your putting is good one day. Don't be crushed if your putting is bad one day. If you make your short putts in this game, this game is so much easier. So, folks, good luck. Practice well. See you in a month. My name is Greg Cheney. Um, I've been doing the Mark Ellis Putting Clinic for about a month now. I've only been playing for approximately four months, so one month of that was just the putting clinic. Um, the first two weeks of the putting clinic, I really found my confidence. Before then, within 10 feet, I was just scared of putting. Um, after two weeks, I really found the confidence to start nailing 10-foot putts. Um, after two weeks, I started moving further and further away from the basket and found that I was making further putts the further out I went. Um, to where now 10, 15, 20 foot putts are just no problem. I step up for a putt and I just have the confidence that I'm going to make it. I think it was really effective and I've uh, told some other people in our club about it and they've started doing it and I think it's uh, been very effective. I putted for 30 days straight. For the first two weeks I was trying to find my form because I've only been golfing for five or six months now and didn't have any form for putting. was scared of putting didn't know what to do as far as putting went. So, um, yes, your clinic does help. Uh, in sitting there for 15 minutes, purely focused on putting, which I used to just sit in the basement for 30 minutes or longer, just throwing plastic instead of focusing on the same movement and techniques that I use when I am in a tournament. And, uh, you know, we, we were supposed to also have a little mantra to try to help us remember that we've earned the right to win um, and, and to make this shot. And I struggled with that. That was the one thing that I changed the most often through my putting uh, practice. And um, uh, what I found in the tournaments is I just thank Mark Ellis every time I made one. Um, and that seemed to help me a lot. Uh. But I think it's great. It's, it's a confidence building, if especially a new competitor who's just competing for the first time. There's nothing like no, stepping up to a 15-footer and knowing you're going to make every 15-foot putt. One of the things I noticed when I am practiced putting was I was always holding at least a disc and a uh, tall in my hand, and when I was playing in competition, I wouldn't do that. It's different. You don't want to be different. You want to be consistent every single time. So after the first two weeks, I think it was more just practice 
and I think two to three times a week forcing yourself to do that is good, but I think the best thing is peer pressure. You've got a group of people that are doing this and you want to make sure that you keep up with them. Would you recommend it to a friend? I would, definitely would. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think, you know, just like, just like Terry said, I think if, as long as, as long as you're willing to do it, it's, it's not something that you can just go out and, you know, once in a while. If, if you really, truly want to be better at putting, then it's something you got to push yourself to do at least three or four times a week, I feel. Like.